Hey Pola, happy Monday and welcome back to campus. We're so glad to have you in-person learning this year. Today, we're gonna to talk really quickly about how to get a work permit. First, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mr. Aspinwall. I'm your Career and CTE Pathways counselor here on campus. The easiest way to get a hold of me is to send me an email, and my email is right there in blue. Like I said, today we're gonna to talk about work permits, so I wanna make this as quick as possible. I'm gonna to try to get through everything in three minutes or less. Here's usually what happens. Students send me an email that looks like this. Hey, what do I gotta to do to get a work permit? Or how can I, I'm gonna work now. <laughs> okay, let's skip that step. So make sure you've done all of the things that I'm about to tell you before you email me. First thing, since we're learning in person and not online this year, you need to meet the following requirements. You have to have at least a 2.0 GPA. You can't have any current Ds or Fs. And you need to have good attendance. So if you have all of those things in place, great, you're ready to get a work permit. Now, the state does set some requirements as to how much you can work based on your age. So <clears throat> there's a chart that looks like this on the website uh, that I'm going to send you at the end of this video. You can find out how old you are by asking yourself that question and then match it to the ages at the top. Then you'll know exactly how much work you can put in outside of school. Here's where it gets a little bit confusing. You need to get the job interview first before I give you the work permit. You see, when you get a work permit, it has the information about where you're working on it. So I can't just give you a general one to take everywhere. So go out and apply. Once you get the job or you get an interview and they're asking you for a work permit, all you have to do is email with me with the details. Then I can create a work permit for you. Make sense? Cool, I know you probably have a question, and that is, Mr. Aspinwall, what details do you need? So glad you asked. An email about your work permit should look like this. Hey, Aspinwall, I was recently offered a job. Can you please check my grades and uh, make a work permit for me? I need the name of where you're working. So if you're working at Starbucks on 5th and Gaffey, Starbucks, tell me the phone number at that Starbucks, the address at that Starbucks, and the manager's name, who you interviewed with, or who's going to be your manager when you get there. If you don't know your manager's name, that's okay, but I don't advise going to an interview where you don't know the person's name who you're about to meet. Just saying. Cool. So, a couple last things that you need to know. Um, your work permits do expire. If you currently have a work permit that you got during the summer, it expires this Friday. So, you're going to need to send me an email so that I can create a new one for you that'll be good for this semester. I am going to check your grades so far, so if you have D's or F's for not turning in your syllabus or you're already behind, then we're going to have to have a conversation to see if you can continue working, okay? After you turn 18, seniors, you don't need a work permit. So once you're 18, you don't need to worry about any of this. Last thing, the work permit protects both you and your employer. So even if you're working at your family's restaurant or you're working for your mom after school, uh, filing papers in her office or something like that, you should still have a work permit, all right? Just send me the information about your family's business or wherever you're working and I'll get it made for you. My email again is at the bottom in blue. Cool. So if you have any questions, you can always email me, but hopefully I answered most of these in the video that you just watched. I'm going to send this link out right now. I hope you have an awesome day, Pola.